Father God. We ask you to bless us, O oh God. Give us, O oh God, another touch this day, O oh God. For this is the day that you have made, O oh God, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for the opportunity you've given us to enter into this sanctuary. And we give your name praise, glory, and honor. For there's no one like you in all of the earth, God. When we consider, oh God, all that you have done, God, our hearts and our minds cry out for you, God. Our hearts and our minds say thank you, God. We thank you today. God, we thank you for another opportunity, oh God. Oh God, to assemble yet again as a body of believers. We thank you for the opportunity you've given us, oh God, to come together and on, on one accord, God, to hear and to gleam, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, for this opportunity that we will never have again. And so, oh God, today we lift your name up high, high above our problems, high above our situations, high above our circumstances. And we say yes this morning, yes to your will and yes to your way. Oh God, your word declares, oh God, that you have given us a name that is above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall profess and proclaim that you are Lord. And so this morning, Jesus, we begin to call upon your name. God, for the word of the Lord declares that your name is a strong tower. The righteous run therein and they are safe, O oh God. And we thank you this morning that we can call upon your name, O oh God. We thank you this morning that we can call upon your name, Jesus. And so we call you Jesus this morning. And we ask you to have your way in this place, O oh God. God, move by your power and by your spirit. Don't let us leave here the same way we have come. But let us leave transformed by the renewing of our minds, O oh God. God, we ask you to send a special blessing to those uh, who are bereaved this morning, those that have lost uh, loved ones this morning. Oh, God, the Groover family. Uh, oh, God, the Crawley family. Oh, God, uh, the Bracey family. Oh, God, members. Uh, oh, God, that have transitioned. Oh, God, lift the heavy burden. Uh, oh, God, this morning we want you to have your way in this place. Uh, oh, God, save to the utmost, O oh God, and we will give your name praise, glory, and honor, God. We thank you, O oh God, for this Sunday, O oh God, this first Sunday in the month of June, July, O oh God, that you have called us together, O oh God, O oh God, and as we sup of your, O oh God, Eucharist, O oh God, as we take, O oh God, your blood and your body, O oh God, give us what we need this morning to be used in a special way. Father, we thank you this morning for you have called us out of darkness and into the marvelous light. And we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor, Jesus. And we say, bless us today, O oh God. Bless us today, O oh God. Bless us today, O oh God. Come on, church. We're almost there in the house. Uh, come on, if you're looking for God to do something, uh, begin to bless the Lord, oh my soul, uh, and all that is within me. Uh, that's right. We begin to bless him. God, we thank you. Uh, God, even as this church is coming together, uh, those that are traveling over the dangerous highways, uh, God, give us what we need, oh God. Uh, give us what we need, oh God. Uh, give us what we need, oh God. Uh, use us, oh God, uh, and we will give your name praise glory and honor Jesus for they have called oh God for you have called us for such a time as this and we say thank you and we say thank you if you thank him on today come on out of your soul begin to thank him father we thank you and we give you praise we give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus name and let everyone say amen 
Amen and amen. Come, let us stand all over the house uh, and give God praise on today. Uh, come on, this is not the time to give him a half-hearted praise. Uh, but come on, can let everybody raise your voice. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. We're going to this morning prepare ourselves Amen for our scripture and our morning prayer. Amen. And as they are coming together, there's an old song of the church. Amen. That says, for he is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that. Christ is Lord. Can you help me lift that for he is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen. He has risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee, every knee shall bow. that Jesus Christ is Lord. One more time, everybody. For he is Lord. For he is Lord. He is Lord. He Lord, he has risen from the dead. He has risen from the dead, and he is Lord, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every knee shall This time, let us receive our morning prayer, amen, by Deacon, amen, Wright, amen, who is coming, followed by our morning scripture, amen, by Deacon Bailey, amen. Come, let us receive them, for he is Lord, he is Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, this is the day that the Lord hath made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let's go to the throne of grace, most gracious Father. We come this morning to give you thanks for life, health, and strength, just as it is, Father God. Father God, we just want to say thank you. 
Thank you for another chance, another opportunity to come into your sanctuary to give you praise and glory. If it had not been for you, God, where would we be today, Father God? You have brought us all from a mighty long way. God, you say you'd never leave us or forsake us or do a single and abundant more than we can ask or think. For that, Father God, we just want to say thank you, God. God, we want to thank you for this first Sunday, God, your shed blood, your broken body that was broken for us, Father God. Oh, God, order our step, God, lead us, guide us, and direct us. Anything that's not like you, Father God, we ask you to remove from our mind, from our heart, from our thoughts, Father God. Oh, God, create a clean heart in us, Father God. Renew a right spirit in us, Father God. For that, Father God, we just want to say thank you. God, we can't thank you enough. We can't praise you enough for what you have done for us. But, God, we can lift up holy hands. We can praise you like never before, Father God. For that, Father God, we just want to say thank you, God. Somebody broken this morning, God. Somebody hurting this morning, Father God. Calm their mind, calm their spirits, Father God. Let them know, God, that you is a way maker, you is a provider, and you love us all, Father God. Oh, God, keep us on the dangerous highways, God, to and from, Father God. Bless the ones that's on the way. Each and every one of them, one by one, name by name, Father God. Oh, God, I want you to break the chain this morning. Every demonic spirit, every stronghold, every witchcraft, we send it back to the pits of hell where it belongs. God, we book every sickness, every disease that try to attack our body, Father God. Somebody may be dealing with aches and pains in their body, but God, we know you can remove the pain and aches. Somebody may be dealing with drug addiction, alcohol addiction, but God, we know you can take the taste from their lips. Father God, somebody may be dealing with anxiety, depression, but God, we know you as a mind regulator, Father God. Oh, somebody may be dealing with heart problems. God, commend that heart back together. Somebody's kidney may not be functioning right this morning, but God, let it work normal. Because we plead the blood over every situation, God. We plead the blood over everything, every blood cell, white blood cell, our digestive system. We plead the blood, Father God. God, we want to thank you for everything that you do, God. Send us in, Father God. You didn't have to wake us up, but God, you love us enough that you did it anyhow. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God. Oh, God, we just want to love you this morning. Because you're worthy this morning, God. Of our praise, God. You're worthy this morning. Of our love, God. You're worthy this morning, God. Of our gifts, Father God. Keep us, God. Safe in your arms, Father God. Don't let nothing come near like dwelling, Father God. On our jobs, in our home, or where we may go, Father God. Continue to bless our children, Father God. Continue to love on them, Father God. Save them. For it's too late, Father God. Don't let somebody leave here the same way they came, Father God. Let somebody, somebody be filled with your precious Holy Ghost this morning, Father God. Oh, God, just walk around the sanctuary, God. Pew by pew, God. Doe by doe, one by them. Saturate this place with your Shekinah glory, Father God. We just want to say, thank you, Father God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Lord, we just want to say, Thank you, God. Hallelujah to your name this morning, God, which is our highest praise, Father God. Somebody, we just need you, God. Every hour, every second of our life, we can't make it without you, God. Oh, God, you brought us from a long way, Father God. Mighty long way, Father God. God, you can't strengthen us, God. Every road that's crooked, God, straighten it out, Father God. Oh, Lord, we just want to say thank you, God. Meet every need and need to be met right now, God. God, we just want to thank you, God. In spite of our pain, spite of our hurt, spite of our disappointment, God, we're still going to give you praise. We're still going to give you glory, God. In the midst of our dry season, in the midst of our pain, God, we're still going to love you this morning, God. No matter what we go through this morning, God, we're still going to love on you because we know, God, that you is a right now, God. You're not a God of tomorrow. You're not a God of next week. You're a God of right now, whatever that we need. God, you have it. You have it, God. Lord, we just want to say thank you again, Father God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. What more can we say but thank you, God? If you don't do anything else, God, you have done enough in our lives, Father God. And God, you still bless it. You still work in miracles. When it's not to say it wasn't going to be done, some of still miracle people that are walking in and to and from, you still forming miracle, God. But that God, we want to say, 
Thank you, God. Because you said by your stripes, we are already here. And we give you the praise. We give you the glory this morning, Father God. And God, I just want you to look down every sick person, sick and shut in, go to the nursing home, hospital, prison bound. Let them know, God, you still God. And you God all by yourself. Because you is the Alpha, the Omega, beginning and the end, and the first and the last. For that, Father God, we want to say thank you. Continue to bless our pastor and the first lady. Look down on our bishop in the first lady. Look down on our mothers, God. Look down on all the deacons, all the sisters. Everybody make a whole body of Christ. Because we need each other to survive. Let us love more. Let us pray for one another more. Let us check on each other more than we do. Because we all are one body in Christ. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And I ask the church this morning to continue to pray for me and my grandkids. Because July the 4th is going to be where we lost my daughter. And it's going to be a sad time for us. So just continue to pray for us that God gives strength to go through that day. Amen. Amen. Our noonday scripture for this morning, Psalms 5. Amen. Psalms chapter 85, verses 4 through 7. Amen. Let's read it collectively. Turn us, O God, our salvation, and call thine anger towards us to cease. Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. May God add a blessing to the hearer and doer of his holy red word. Amen. Praise on everybody. Come on, praise on everybody. Come on, it's praise and worship time. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, how many know that every praise belongs to God? Come on, everybody, let's clap our hands and give God praise today. But he's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on, everybody. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, everybody. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, say it. Every praise is to our God. Oh, every praise, every praise is to our God. Oh, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Oh, every praise, every praise is to every word of worship. Come on, everybody, let's give a praise. Every praise, every praise is to. Oh, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, it's due. Every praise, every praise is due. Oh, every praise is due. Every word of worship. That's it, I see you. Glory, glory, sing hallelujah, hallelujah to our glory, hallelujah, it's to every praise, every praise, it's to oh, God, my 
God my deliverer, yes he is, yes he is, yes he is, yes, he is. God my Savior, God my healer, God we thank you for being Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth us, God my deliverer, yes he is, yes he is, every praise him. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We give praise. It's to our every word of worship in one accord. Every praise. Every praise is to every praise. Every every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. And we give you glory, we give you the honor, we bless your name, for you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Hey, come on everyone, give them a praise in the house, come on, give them a praise, come on, give them a praise, give them a praise, give them a praise. I don't hear nobody in the mic, give them a praise, give them a praise, give them a praise. Hey, 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 God, my Savior, say God. God, my Savior. God, my healer. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. God, my deliverer. Hey. Come on, give up praise. Yes, he is. 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 It's true. It's true. Come on, if you believe it, shout hallelujah. Come on, church. I said shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together and let's glorify the name of the Lord. The song says, oh, magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. We say, Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. On everybody, oh, magnify the Lord. That's it for He. Come on, everybody, let's say, oh, oh, man. I love it when I see everyone clapping. For He is worthy to be. Come on, say, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed, blessed be the, blessed be of my salvation. Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be, blessed be the rock of my salvation. I will call upon the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, I will call upon the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Everybody, Hosanna. Oh, blessed be the rock, blessed be of my salvation. 
Hosanna, Hosanna, we give you praise today. And may the blessing of my salvation. Oh, magnify the Lord. Anybody come to magnify him? For oh, he is worthy to be praised. Come on, everybody. Oh, oh, magnify the Lord. For he, for he is worthy to be Come on, everybody. Hosanna, Hosanna. Bless him. Bless him be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. We say, Hosanna. Blessed. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock. Jesus is the rock. Blessed be the rock. Hey, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Come on, my salvation. Let Hosanna. Blessed be the rock and may the God of my salvation be exalted. Come on, lift up a praise in the house. Come on, lift up a praise in the house. Come on, lift up a praise in the house. Everybody give a praise. Blessed be the rock. Hey, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Jesus in the rock. The Holy Ghost in the rock. Jesus in the rock. The Holy Ghost in the rock. Blessed be the rock. Hey. Blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock. Put your hands together, put your hands together. God, we give you praise today. God, we give you glory today. God, we give you the honor today. Hey, blessed be the, blessed be the, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. We say Hosanna, salvation. Come on, let's give God praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Blessed be the rock of our salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. We're going to press the rewind button. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life as we press that rewind button one more time we just want you to ask somebody are you one of those whosoever whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life i don't know about you but i am so glad that i am one of those whosoever I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I'm looking forward to eternal life. And if you, too, are looking forward to eternal life, you're in the right place at the right time. This is our first Sunday. You can see that the table is prepared. This is a time in which we look introspectively. We examine ourselves. We make certain that we have clean hands and a pure heart. We make certain that we have not lifted our souls unto vanity unto the Lord, but that we worship the Lord in the spirit of holiness. So we welcome you on that note to the Greater Refuge Memorial 
Church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith Incorporated, whether you are here in the sanctuary physically or if you have joined us via live stream and virtually, we welcome you. And we are just so happy today because we know that God has something very special for you. He said, as often as you drink of this cup, And eat of this bread, you do show remembrance of me until I come. So today is today that we offer our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, as we do show remembrance of him while we are waiting on the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So welcome to the Greater Refuge Memorial Church. Our pastor is District Elder-Elect, Elder Marcus Rule McCoy, Jr. Our First Lady is the sweet fragrance of the GRM. She is none other than First Lady Susan McCoy, and we welcome you. Today is a special day because our brother and our son has come back to worship with us once again. Let's welcome the Matthews family back. Thank you so much for coming home. It is so great to see you. We are also so grateful to God to have with us remnants of the Stevens and Massey family. Why don't you all please stand as we celebrate you. Welcome to the Greater Refuge Memorial Church. It does our heart so well to have you here. And if it looks like I'm a little happier today than normal, it's because Mother McCoy's students are here. I'm going to ask all the students from Victory Global Academy, if you would stand and be recognized, we welcome you to the Greater Refuge Memorial Church. You may be seated to all of our guests, to all of our friends. We want you to know that we are so happy. For those of you who were with us on last Sunday and you came back to be with us again on this Sunday, we see you and we recognize you. Thank you, Brother Mark, for joining us again. God bless you. So happy to have you in this worship service with us. Well, it's the time now for our Apostolic Fellowship, and we just invite everyone. I know you have it with you, and you have permission. Take out your phone. Everybody take out your phone. And what we're going to do as we spread the good news, the love of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, if you see someone smiling in the sanctuary, we want you to go and take a selfie with them, and then you're going to title that, put the hashtag, smiling at GRM. Why don't you stand now? Jesus said, for by this shall all men know that you're my disciples, that you have love one for another. It's the Jesus in me that loves the Jesus in you. It is so easy, it's easy to love. Come on, it's fellowship time in the house. We want everyone to hug on somebody. Come on, let's give God praise. The Jesus in The Jesus in me, say now, the Jesus in me loves the Jesus, the Jesus in you. So easy, so very easy, so very easy. Jesus in me say now Love the Jesus and the Jesus in you Love the Jesus in me So easy so easy So very 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 easy The Jesus in me, say now, the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you. The Jesus in you should love the Jesus in me. So very, so very, so very, so very, so very, so very easy. said it like this. I love you. You love me. We're all happy. Family. 
this far. I don't know about you, but we, we come this, we come this far. Is there anybody that got a testimony? And God's been good to you. of Jesus and and all and all he's done for me my soul I said my soul I said my soul Christ hallelujah he's brought me out he's picked me up I could have been dead, 16 under, but the Lord spared my life, and we come this far. Holy Ghost took you out. You had underlying conditions, but the Lord spared your life, and you ought to give a praise. Lead on the Lord. Say the Lord been good to me. I said, lean on the Lord, neighbor, and say the Lord's been good to me. Hey, that's why I praise Him. That's why I praise Him. Hey, that's why I praise Him. That's why I praise Him. We come, we come, come. Oh, can't turn around. 
we come this far. Now make it personal. Say, I've come this far. I've come this far. I may not be where I want to be, but I've come this far. Say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. That for many are the afflictions of the righteous. You may be seated, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. What a wonderful God we serve. I thought I would get a response. I must be here by myself. I said, what a wonderful God. I'm going to clap on that by myself. I don't need anybody else. Sometimes you just got to get him in your own praise. And when you think of the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for you, you will begin to rejoice and be glad. For God has been so very faithful. Amen. And sometimes it's hard. Amen. Due to the things of life. Amen. To give God praise because you have so much on your mind and heart. Amen. But God says to us, be not dismayed, whatever betide, that God's going to take care of you. He says, cast therefore all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Would you look at it, neighbor, and say, God cares for you. Come on, tell somebody, God cares for you, and he's working it out. Uh, can you testify that to somebody? Well, we'll pro proclaim that. Uh, amen. As a prophet or a prophetess, look at somebody and say, he's working it out for you. Amen. He's working it out for you. He's working it out for you you we praise god today amen for being such a faithful god amen we say praise the lord everybody amen for everybody ought to praise the lord amen again we honor god for we being in this place and space yet again we sing the blessed people of god amen it is an encouragement to see you week in and week out amen because it says to me that god is still faithful huh? And not only is he blessing me, but I can look upon your face and know that he is blessing you too. Amen. We give honor and deference not only to the spirit of the Lord, but we thank God for the leadership of our house and the persons of our pastor emeritus and dicing bishop. Amen. Can we clap our hands for the ministry of Bishop M. Rue McCoy Sr. and his lovely companion, Lady McCoy, our shepherd mother. Come on, clap our hands. Amen. We celebrate them. Amen. For we honor leadership. We thank God for all of those who serve in co-laborship here at the Greater Refuge Memorial Church. We thank God that an apostolic mother is here. Come on, let's thank God for her. We honor you, woman of God. Amen. We thank God that our mother's board chair, missionary mother Yearwood is here. Amen. God bless your mother. Amen. And to all of the blessed people of God, amen. We do want to celebrate Amen. The fact that members of the Massey Stevens family is here on today. Can we clap our hands? Let's thank God for Missionary Massey. Amen. We honor her. She's our member of the year. Amen. She is one who has goals above and beyond to ensure that the house of God and the people of God are taken care of. Amen. And I don't know if you know it, but you have a jewel in your family. Amen. In the person of Missionary Massey. And we praise God. Amen. For amen. Her son as well, our brother. We thank God for you. Amen. And to all of the family, amen, we say welcome to the church. Amen. And to Sister Magnier, God bless you, my sister. Amen. Come and clap a little harder for her. Her heart's desires to be here every time the church opens. Amen. But due to the season in her life, amen, she's not able to do as she wishes, but she is still very much connected to us. And I praise God. I get so excited. Amen. When I see her because, amen, it reminds me of the word of the Lord that came to me concerning her, that God is doing something in her life. Amen. And so many times, amen, God just wants to do something in your life. Amen. But you got to want it too. <laughs> amen. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Amen. And God is a gentleman. Amen. I was in a class, amen, a theological class and a friend of mine and said something like this and it startled me but it's very true amen he said professor god is not a rapist and i said how dare, dare you even put rapist and god in the same sentence amen but he went on to say that god will not force himself on you amen god will not force his will 
on you. Amen. You got to accept the will of God. Amen. And when I see Sister, amen, uh, and I'm about to call a missionary, when I see Sister Magnier, amen, I see a woman of God who has availed herself to accept the will of God, and I know he's working it out for you. So be encouraged. Amen. And to all of the blessed people of God, we say praise the Lord. Sister Courtney is in the house. Glory! Hallelujah! Amen. And, hey, hey, and the little girl's waving. What's your name, baby? Peyton, come on, clap your hands for Sister Peyton. Oh, she's ready. Amen. You want to come up and you want to say something, Sister Peyton? What you want to say? We'll get it later, okay? But she looked like she was ready to say <laughs> say something. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. For Amen. Deacon Matthews, who's in the house, come on in, brother Brian. Come on, let's clap their hands for them. Amen. I don't care where Deacon Matthews is. He's going to meet us here on first Sunday. Amen. With his white a shirt and white uh, tie, black suit, and with his deacon's pen. Amen. Faithful deacon of God. Amen. Amen. Well, it's time to give in the house. Amen. We honor. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank you, Dr. McCoy. Amen. Mother McCoy's students are in the house. <laughs> I laugh because they my mother say no, no. Mother McCoy students are in his Amen. These are Amen. I want the Amen, the children, Amen, the young men and women from Victory Global Academy to stand. Turn around, let the church see you. Yeah, turn around, let the church see you. No, not just right there in your seat. Amen. These are the students. Come on, clap your hands for these young women and men. You may be seated. These are, amen, students. You may be seated. These are students, amen, who belong, amen, to our parent ministry there in Daytona Beach, Florida. Amen. Dr. McCoy, as you know, amen, put it up, God put it upon her heart to start a school, amen, and we're in that process of finalizing that, but amen, just because, amen, you can't see the fulfillment of all of the vision, that don't mean you stop working, and so she has opened up, amen, an educational resource center, amen, where children come after school and during the summer, amen, and for, amen, a nominal fee of about $89 a week, children can come Amen. They go on a field trip every week, amen. every day, excuse me, every day. They go on a field trip every day, amen, and, and, and learning, amen, Spanish and Mandarin and Italian and all of that good stuff, and, and sign language, amen. Amen. What's hallelujah in sign language? Mother, amen, you the teacher, what's <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> Glory. What's holy? <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to go holy. What's that? God. Amen. I know this is Jesus, right? This is, that's Lord. All right. Amen. Amen. This is Jesus. Amen. But you learn what's hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> amen. We thank God. Amen. Come on, let's clap our hands once more for BGA. All right. Well, it's giving time in the house. Amen. For we believe in the biblical principle that it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Amen. And on today, I want you to be a blessing. Amen. There are several things that are taking place in this particular month. Amen. And so look at someone and say, you're going to have to stretch this month. Come on, look at someone and say, you're going to have to stretch this month. You're going to have to stretch this month. We know that, amen, we have our, our, our regular financial obligations. Amen. But after service, we will share with you, amen, another, amen, giving opportunity. Amen. Our first lady, amen, lady... Susan, amen, Driver McCoy, amen, my wife of a year and a few months, amen, will be turning the age of 40, amen, on July the 9th. Is this on live? Okay. Amen. I'll back that thing up until we're off the live. <laughs> amen. And there's some things that we want to do. Amen. And so, amen, we're going to, amen, prepare ourselves, amen. But I want us to celebrate her, amen, for her contributions, not only to our church, Amen. But just to the kingdom of God globally. Amen. And so, amen. We're going to talk about, about that. But amen. There's also Holy Convocation is this week of this month. Amen. And so we're going to be preparing for that. Amen. And we're going to have some opportunities to celebrate the man of God, our bishop. Amen. Who will possibly ascend. Amen. To the apostleship. Amen. This amen year. Amen. And so I want us to prepare ourselves. I know this is the summertime and we go out on vacation. But I want us to consider Amen. Investing into the things of God here locally. Amen. So that we can be in fellowship together. Amen. 
Amen. Let's get ready to give. Thank God. Amen. For the men of God who's standing here. Amen. If you're giving electronically, you can do so at refugeorlando.com. Amen. If you're giving through Cash App, you can do so at money sign GRM Orlando. Amen. Amen. Whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Lord, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. We say, Lord, if you're blessing, blessing in this season, please don't do it without me. Everyone standing, let's get ready to pray. Lord, Lord, whatever, whatever, whatever you're doing in the season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it with, let's, amen, declare our giver's declaration. Amen is there on the screens. Let's recite it together. Because I am a tither and a giver, the windows of heaven are open to me and God rebukes the devourer for my sake. I am blessed financially and receive a blessing that I cannot contain. I do not worry about lack, knowing God supplies all my needs richly and abundantly. Therefore, I'm able to sow freely and liberally, and I choose to sow cheerfully, generously, and bountifully, knowing I will reap bountifully. I have an abundance, every favor and earthly blessing. All my needs are met, and I abound in every good work. Because I obey him, the Lord blesses everything I put my hand to. He grants me abundant prosperity. He makes me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. The blessings of God are chasing me and overtaking me. Because God loves to see me prosper, I am believing him for a supernatural release of God's favor over every area of my life. Jobs and better jobs, checks in the mail, inheritance, secure investments, scholarship, creative ideas, finding money, healing of our spirit, soul, and body, deliverance to the captives, salvation to the lost, and an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. We are blessed and we will be a blessing to others in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's raise our gifts before the Lord. Father, we thank you once more and again for this opportunity you have given us to sow into this fertile ground. Now, O oh God, bless this time, bless this opportunity, bless this worship experience that as we invest our monies, our time, and our talent into this amen ministry that you, O oh God, will get the glory out of everything that we do. We thank you now and give you praise knowing that you are the God that shall supply all of our needs according to our riches and glory and we thank you in Jesus name and let everyone say amen and amen and amen amen follow the directions of our ushers let's give cheerfully into the house of the Lord
everything. I said, he's my yeah. everything. Can't nobody do you like God can. Look at somebody and say, no one can do you like he can. Man, God is indeed our everything. Let's get ready to go into the word of the Lord. Amen. She's not prepared. Amen. I don't think. Amen. But I'm going to call Sister Davis. Amen. Just to prepare our hearts and our minds. Amen. Now, brother Leonard, amen. There have been several requests. Amen. For you to minister. Amen. So we're not going to surprise you. Amen. This Sunday, because I know how you are. You will just do what you want to do as you are prepared to do. Amen. So get ready. So the next time there won't be no consideration. Amen. Let's receive Sister Davis. Amen. And she's going to come in and prepare our hearts and then we're going to go into the word of the Lord. Amen. Let's clap our hands for our very own. Amen. Nurse Davis. God bless you.
you give them praise, come open up your mouth and say hallelujah. Come on, right there. Open up your mouth and give them praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's go into the word of the Lord. Philippians, the first chapter. Philippians, the first chapter. Philippians, the first chapter. We're going to look at one verse. And then we're going to go to... Psalms, the book of Psalms. Jesus. All right, let's go to the word of the Lord. Philippians, the first chapter. Let's go to verse number six. Let's stand for the reading of God's word. Paul writes this to church at Philippi, and there he says these things. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. I'm going to read it one more time for you hearing Paul writes these words. Being confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Let's go to our companion scripture found in Psalms. Psalms 115, two verses there. Actually, let's just read one verse there, 14. Psalms 115 and 14, are you there? And the word of the Lord says, the Lord shall... Increase you more and more, you and your children. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. 
Father, we thank you now for this opportunity you've given us to gleam from your word. For your word declares that it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. So God, we come now asking you that you would illuminate our minds and our thoughts that we may see clearly that what you would have us to do that we may follow you more nearly. For it is our desire to be found pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And let everyone say in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Psalms 115 and 14, the Lord shall what increase you more and more, you and your children. Do me a favor, just go find someone in the house, amen, someone you like, someone you don't like, just link up with one person. I want you to link up, I want you to stand up and link up with them, amen, find them, amen, in the house. Hallelujah. Everyone got somebody in the house? Now I want you to turn to them and look them in the eye. Come on, church. You got somebody? Look them in the eye. Now I want you to grab them by the hand. Hallelujah. I want you just to squeeze their hand just very lightly. And tell them, I'm squeezing life into your hand. Mm. Tell them, I'm squeezing strength into your hand. Come on, tell them, I'm squeezing joy. Glory, hallelujah, into your hand. Tell them, and say these words, the Lord shall increase you more and more you and your children come on if you don't have children just know that we, it's your life it's your it's your family it's your come on tell them one more time say the lord shall increase you more and more you and your family come on one more time say the lord shall increase you more and more, you and your family. Now give them a hug and say, it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Come on, say it. It's already done. It's already done. Glory to God. I want to take from the subject to these few moments, this I am confident of. This I am confident of. This I am confident of. Saints of God, amen. We are, amen, in what I would consider, and as I try to, amen, teach and preach and to remind that we are living in the last days. And to be more frank, amen, these are the last of 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 the last days. Amen. And Jesus is soon to return. Look at somebody and say, Jesus is on his way back. And uh, it's important for us to understand this because the, the, the world and the culture that we are living in is one that seeks to desensitize us to, uh, this, a fact and understanding um, as if we have some infinite time here on the earth. Amen. We, we, we see it, amen, even through, amen, social media. People don't feel uh, like they're going to die anytime soon, that they just got all of this time to maximize, amen, their life. And I'm not, amen, speaking early death on nobody, but the Bible says no man knows the day nor the hour, when the Son of Man shall appear. 
amen, and even though, amen, he has promised us a certain amount of life, amen, God will do just what he wants to do, and amen, it's important that we understand that we don't have time to waste, Amen. Did I did you hear what I said, church? I said, we don't have time to waste. Look at somebody and say, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Amen. And God wants us, amen, in this season to be very, amen, amen, particular about where we place our investments in. God wants us to know, amen, that, amen, we cannot afford, amen, to lay our pearls, as it were, before swine, amen. If you remember, amen, in the Bible, amen, he teaches us, amen, that you don't want to put, amen, your good thing, amen, before people that can't understand your good thing, amen. Jesus even said it when he went to his own. He said, I went to my own, but my own, what, received me not. Amen. And that is not a place for you to hang your hat and to begin to cry, but that's a place for you to realize that the goods that you got, everyone doesn't want. And if you don't want my goods, I know of a place and of a God that does want my goods. And so he tells us, amen, that if you come into contact with people and places and things, amen, that do not honor the giftedness that you have, he says, uh, dust your feet off uh, and go find a new place. Uh, and some of us in this season, that's what we need to do. Uh, amen. We need to dust our feet off uh, and go find the place that God uh, has called us to be. Uh, amen. Because everyone is not going, uh, amen, again, uh, as I said, to honor, amen, the giftedness that is on your life. Uh, amen. But look at somebody and say, I am valuable. Uh, even if the world world does not, amen, deem me valuable. Huh? Even if, amen, the Supreme Court, uh, amen, in their decisions want to, amen, repeal things, uh, amen, that help to understand my value. Huh? Even if you want to put me under the jail, over the jail, huh? it does not matter because the good work uh, that God has placed on the inside of me, uh, he says he's going to perform it. Uh, amen. Not the government, not the church, uh, not your your pastor, not your economic status, uh, but God says I'm going to perform it. Uh, why don't you lean over somebody and say there shall be a performance. Uh, hallelujah. And God's going to work it out. Uh, God's going to turn it around. Uh, God's going to ensure uh, that I have everything that I need. Uh, for he said in his word uh, that I am the God that shall supply uh, all of your needs according to my riches in glory. Amen. And so, amen, it's important, church. Amen. That we never lose sight uh, of the fact uh, that God has called us uh, his friend. Uh, that God has called us his child. Uh, and that greater is he uh, that is in you than he that is in the world. Uh, and so many times in our lives uh, when we are confronted uh, with things, amen, we forget who we are, Deacon Wright. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, we forget the power that lies on the inside of us. But God would have us to know today, amen, that I want you to arise, oh my child, arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is shine round about you. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say the light is on. Hallelujah. The lights are on now. See, the enemy wants you to operate in the dark, but he says, I have come uh, that you might have life uh, and that you might have light uh, and that he is the life uh, and the light of the world. Uh, amen. And so as I hasten now, uh, amen, we come to this particular passage of scripture uh, where Paul is talking to the church at Philippi. Uh, amen. And he is co amen, concerning, uh, amen, their stance in God. Uh, amen. And he begins, uh, amen, 
to teach them. Amen. That's why it is important uh, that you study the word of God. Uh, that is why it is important that you look into the word of God. Uh, for it is in the word of God uh, that you will find the answers to what you are going through. Uh, see, some of us, amen, and I don't have a problem uh, with psycho uh, psychologists and uh, amen counselors. Uh, amen. I believe everybody ought to be talking to somebody. Uh, amen. We just had a mental health symposium. Uh, amen. So we are a church that believes in getting the help that you need. Uh, but before I talk to any psychologist, uh, before I go to any counselor, uh, I got to go to Jesus. Uh, and some of us, amen, uh, we're not going to Jesus first. Uh, but I hear Sister Howard singing uh, on the first Sunday, uh, Jesus is the answer uh, for the world today. Uh, above him there is no other. Uh, Jesus, uh, he is the way. Uh, look at somebody and say, Jesus is still the way. Uh, amen. And some of us, if we would just turn it over to Jesus uh, and stop trying to work it out, uh, I believe that you will receive uh, everything that you need. Uh, amen. For the Cosmopolitan Church uh, said there in Chicago, uh, amen, while you're trying to figure it out, uh, he's already worked it out. Uh, amen. Look at somebody and say, Jesus will work it out uh, if you let him. Uh, glory to God. Uh, and so Paul begins to preach uh, and to teach that uh, if we're going to make it, uh, that we have to stand assured on the word of God. Uh, and I'm so glad, uh, amen, uh, that I have found, amen, my resting place. Uh, and that it's in the word of God. Uh, Amen. So, uh, amen. He teaches us, uh, amen. And Philip, Philip. Uh, Philippians, glory to God. Uh, he begins to teach us about uh, thanksgiving and prayer. Uh, look at somebody and say prayer still works. Uh, amen. He begins to teach us about the importance uh, and the power of prayer. Uh, amen. And that prayer is not, uh, amen, just something that we do haphazardly. Uh, but prayer is a key. Uh, amen. That you can use to get what you need from God. Uh, let me take a point here. Is there anybody that has ever prayed to God, amen, for something, and God answered your prayer? If that's you in the house, just wave your hands and say, I am one of the ones who God has answered a prayer. He begins to teach him, Mother George, that you got to pray without ceasing, and that God is going to give you an understanding that it is in your prayer that you will find uh, amen the righteousness of God uh, that it is in your prayer that you will find uh, the goodness of God uh, that it is in your prayer that you will find uh, the, the deliverance path of God. Huh? And so many of us, huh, we have stopped praying huh, because we feel like God has not answered our prayer. Huh? But I hear Job saying all the days huh, of my appointed time, huh, I'm going to wait until my change come. Huh? Amen. Is there anybody in the house huh, who can testify like Job? Huh? No, God has not answered all of my prayers, huh, but I'm still here huh, and it's it's by the grace of God. I know God has not, amen, revealed everything that I needed, but I'm still here, and it's by the grace of God. No, everything is not like I want it, but I'm still here, and it's by the grace of God. No, the bills are not paid like they need to be, but I'm still here, and it's by the grace of God. Yes, there may be sickness right now in my body, but I'm still here and it's by the grace of God I need somebody to give God praise that you're still here and it's by the grace of God y'all giving God a half-hearted praise but I feel a power that says if you would give me a good praise you're going to receive another touch look at somebody and say I'm ready to receive 
receive another touch. Come on, you look, look over at somebody and say, I'm ready to receive another touch. Amen. And so Paul says, he says, I want you, Sister Davis, he says, I want you to do this thing. I want you to have some confidence. Look over at somebody and say, you've got to be confident in this season. This is not the season for people that don't know who God is. But this is the season for people who are going to stand flat footed on the word of God and say, I'm going to believe everything that God has said about me. I'm going to everything that God has told me he was going to do. He said, Mother, he said, and being confident of this very thing, that he, look at somebody and say he, that has begun a good work in me. He says, I want you to be confident that it's not in your ability. It's not in your church ability, but it's in God's ability. And I hear the Lord saying that I am the God of all flesh and there is nothing, there's nothing to hard for me. I wish I had somebody who can say I've given God a hard thing. I prayed God and he gave me a miracle of a hard thing. I know there's somebody in the house. Hallelujah. I know there's somebody in the house who's dealing with a hard thing. I hear the Lord saying amen that I am the Lord and I can do everything and we're dealing church even with a problem. Mother Wilson has already said that the doctors have told her that she is going to have to go and have a, a transfer Plant. But I believe God that he able to do exceedingly and abundantly. I believe that God can work out a hard thing. I wonder, is there anybody who can begin to touch and agree with me and say he's the God of all flesh? It does not matter what it looks like in your life. He said, I I want you uh, to trust me uh, with everything that you have. Uh, I want you to trust me uh, with your life. Uh, I want you to trust me uh, with your job. Uh, I want you to trust me uh, with your children. Uh, I want you to trust me uh, with your finances. Uh, I want you to trust me uh, with your health. Uh, and I believe uh, that we are in a season uh, where we can ask God for a hard thing and I know that the doctors may have said it's one thing but who Report, will you, will you believe? Look at somebody and say, we shall. I feel him in the house. Say, we shall believe the report of the Lord. I said, whose report do you believe? Look at somebody and say, we shall believe the report of the Lord. I said, whose report will you believe? Look at somebody and say, we shall believe the report of the Lord. Brother George, I know they're giving you a report, but I'll ask you today, sir, whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord for his report says I'm healed his report says I'm free his report says I got victory I dare somebody just to lift up both your hands and put a peace sign and turn it around 
and say, I got the victory over the enemy and the world can't do me no harm. Look at somebody and say, victory shall be mine. Victory, 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 victory on my job. Victory in my health. Victory shall, shall be mine. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Now look at somebody and say be confident in this thing. Come on, tell them be confident in this thing. God's going to take care of you. I said look at somebody and say be confident in this thing. God's going to take care of you. Y'all not talking to nobody. You got to get up from this thing. Sister Thalia, I want you to help me preach. Come on, Sister Thalia. I want Sister Thalia to get up and go to Sister Davis. And I want you to all to meet in the middle of the hour and say, God is going to do this thing. Come on, meet in the hour and high five them and say, God is going to do this thing. Come on, now I want uh, Sister McCoy uh, to go get Sister Massey uh, and high five her uh, and say, God's going to do this thing. 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 Be confident uh, of this thing. Mother Brooks, uh, go get Sister Magnia uh, and hug her and say, God. God's going to do this thing. God's going to work it out. God's going to turn it around. God's going to lift the heavy burden. God's going to heal. God's going to deliver. God's going to set free. If you believe it, shout yes. If you believe it, shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Look at somebody down your row and say, this row is the row of miracles, signs, and wonders. Whatever you need, I dare you just to give them a praise. Give them a glory. Give them a hallelujah. Give them a thank you, Jesus. Tell them this row is a row of miracles. It's a row of signs. It's a row of wonders. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Tell them I'm confident. Tell them I'm confident. Tell them I'm confident. God's going to do it. God's going to work it out. God's going to take care. 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 Be not dismayed. Whatever be time. God will. God will. God. He's going to take care. He's going to take care of you. Somebody say yes. Now I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to look at your problem. Or your problems. Whatever it is that got you down. And say I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. I trust God. I trust God. I trust God. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Somebody say hallelujah. Now what I want you to do, I want you to go find that same person that you prayed with earlier. I want you to go yoke up with that person. Hallelujah, glory to God. Go find that same person 
that you hooked up with earlier. Hallelujah. And tell them, tell them the Lord. Come on, tell them the Lord is going to bless you. Come on, tell them the Lord is going to bless you. Come on, tell them the Lord is going to bless you. I want everyone holding somebody's hand. Come on, we're going to pray. He told me to pray. I want everyone holding somebody's hand. I want everybody holding someone's hand. Come on, everyone holding someone's hand. And squeeze that hand. Come on, squeeze it. And say the Lord is going to do it. Say the Lord is going to increase you. Now, come on, say increase. 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 And I'm on Shadabaha. Come on, say increase, 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 increase. God, we speak increase right now. Now pray for your neighbor. Pray for the hand that you're holding. Come on, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, kind Father. We thank you for the power and the authority that we have. We thank you for the power and the authority that we have. And we give you praise. Amen. God, we thank you and we give you glory. God, we thank you and we give you the honor. We pray now for the hand that we're holding. We pray now for our sister and our brother. And we speak life into their hands. We speak life into their life. And we pray that nothing will be able to separate you from their love. God, we thank you for miracles. God, we thank you for miracles. God, we Thank you for miracles uh, that are performing uh, out of their obedience. Uh, and we give you praise. Uh, and we give you glory. Uh, and we give you honor. Uh, and we give you praise. Uh, and we give you glory. Uh, and we give you honor. Uh, and we give you praise. Uh, and we give you glory. Uh, and we give you honor. Uh, now let the head of your neighbor go and give God a praise. Come on, give them 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 a praise. Come on, everybody, give them a praise. Come on, give them a praise. Because if you're not, increase will create clutter. Hear me, church. Increase will create clutter. Keep it there. And clutter will breed chaos. And you'll be sitting amongst all of this, but can't operate because you're cluttered in. So in order to receive God's increase, that's why he says, I can't put new wine in old wineskins. 
Come on, tell somebody you got to clear some stuff out. God wants to deposit more into you to increase you, but he's waiting till you make room. Look at somebody and say, make room for him. Make, 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 make room for him. The confidence that they had in God was that what he promised he was going to do, that this very thing. And so God has promised you some things that you have not seen yet. But in order to receive them at the level that he wants you to receive them, you're going to have to condition yourself for the increase. You're going to have to condition your mind for the increase. Practically speaking, some of you all need to take courses in finances because the money that is coming your way, your family have never seen it before. And if you're looking for broke people to give you financial, amen, understanding, that's the wrong place. You better not go to Big Mama talking about how do you handle certain mama. No, 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 no. Thank God for what Big Mama used to do, but Big Mama never had some of this money. She still got it in her chest. Glory to God. Now we thank God for the, set, the understanding of the old, but now God has provided uh, finances and resources and, and, and that can grow your money exponentially. But if you don't know how to invest your money, come on somebody. Some of us need to go back to training classes to hone our skills around what God has called us to do. Some of us need to take more uh, uh, biblical classes because the places that God's about to send you is good with the little Bible you understand now, but God wants to expand your reach. And if you're still struggling with Genesis, how are you going to teach Revelations? My God. Look and say, increase is coming your way. Woo! I feel that thing as strong as I can say it. Increase is coming your way. And he's going to increase you more and more. Look at somebody and say, this is an everlasting increase. Come on, look at somebody and say, this is an everlasting increase. Y'all remember that woman? I believe it was the Zephanician woman who, the Bible said he told her to go find pots. Was that right? Come on. And he said the oil just kept flowing. Look at somebody and say, this is an overflowing anointing. It's just not going to stop here, but it's going to go to my children and my children and my children's children. It's Look at somebody and say, this is a flowing anointing. Now, if you believe it, I just want everyone to give a good last good praise before we go into communion. I want you to not, now listen. We're not going to praise God for this generation. We're going to praise God for your generations that you have not seen. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I want you to give God a good praise. However you're going to praise him. One, two, three, praise him. Come on, praise him. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
Lord. Praise the Lord. Increase it. Increase. Increase. Say it. Increase. 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 Increase more and more. Increase more. Increase. Increase more and more. Increase more and more. Increase more. Increase more and more. Increase more. Increase. Increase. Increase! 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 and say thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Come on, come on, come on, church. Open up your mouth and tell them thank you. No music. Come on, everyone. Just know that. Come on, open up your mouth. Hey, glory! Father, we thank you. 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 We thank you for your word. Thank you for your word, oh God. We thank you for your word, oh God. We thank you for your word, oh God. Your word that comes to remind us to be confident. Hallelujah. 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 This is the air I breathe. Ooh. This is the air I breathe. Your holy word. Living in me. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your home. time. This is, this is, this is the air. This is the air I breathe. Come on, let's worship him. Come on, breathe in the air. This is the air I breathe. Your holy word, your holy Everyone say this is, this is my daily bread. Oh, this is my daily bread. 
This is my daily bread. Your very word, everyone. Your very word spoken. Spoken to me, and I, and I, and I, I hear you. Oh, I, I'm desperate for, I'm desperate for you. Father, we thank you now. Father, we come down to this moment into this space. God, and we ask that you would sanctify this time. God, sanctify this hour. As we come together to sup with you, Jesus. God, you said as often as we do this, we do show the Lord's death until it comes. God, this is one of the admonitions you gave us to remember you. So God, we commemorate this time. God, and we ask you to anoint us, oh God. God, visit us even in this place. God, meet us at the point of our needs. God, you know what each of us stand in need of. And God, you're not too far that you cannot touch. You're not too big that you cannot hear. So God, whatever your people are standing in need of, as we eat of your body and drink of your blood, God, we ask that you would visit us in a new and sustainable way. God, help us not to leave this place the same way we have come. Help us not to leave this table the same way we have come. But help us to leave more empowered, more invigorated, more transformed. So that we may stand as the true disciples that you have called us to be. And we thank you now. And we say this in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord. To show someone your way. And enable me say God help us to say today my storage is emptied and I am available to you Lord I'm available to you Oh, 
my will I give to you. I'll do what you say. Do use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and i am available to you father we thank you now for this time that you have given us to eat of your body and a drink of your blood and god as we come to this table god we ask that you wash us cleanse us purge us Oh, God, with his of that, we will be known. God, we ask you to create within us clean hearts and a pure heart, clean hands and a pure heart. God, do only what you can do. God, we ask for forgiveness even now. God, we ask you to wash us and purge us. And God, make us new. Wash us in the blood of the Lamb. God, and even the things that we're holding on to, unforgiveness in our heart. God, you said in your word, you cannot forgive us unless we have forgiven others. So, God, we forgive even now and we let it go. And we say now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. God, we thank you for being our Jehovah Jireh, the one that provides everything that we need. God, we give you praise. We give you the glory. Bless these elements, this cup, this bread. Oh, God, that it may be, oh, God, that conduit of your glory that shall be manifested in us. And we thank you now. In Jesus' name, everyone say in Jesus' name, amen. Saints of God, there was, because of sin of Adam and Eve, a separation between Christ and you and I. Oh, God, and just as this petition is up, amen, that's how it was separated. Christ on one side, you on the other side. But he said that he would come as a redeemer, as a savior, Oh, God, to give us that which was our rightful place. And so he lived among us, and then he died on Calvary. And the Bible says that as he was on the cross, there was, when he died, a, 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 a veil in the temple, and it, and it rent. And as this partition is going down, that's just what happened. And when the veil was rent, the Bible says, then we had access to the Father. That we didn't have to lay or kill any more lambs or any more sacrifices. But we could go to God for ourselves and by ourselves. And we thank God that we don't have to slay the lamb anymore. We don't have to put blood on the door. Someone, Jesus, has taken away the place of the lamb and he is the great I am. And you ought to give him praise for it today. Come on, you ought to give him glory for it today. God, we thank you. Our deacons are making themselves available, and we're going to serve communion. We ask that you hold your elements until everyone is served. Let us prepare ourselves to go before the Lord, the broken body which was, amen, broken for us. The shed blood of Christ you may serve. To you, the blood that Jesus shed for me. Way back on Cal. Oh, oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will die. It's power, the blood that Jesus shed for me. 
way back on Cal Calvary. Oh, oh, the blood. Come on, anybody thank him for the blood that gives us strength from day to day. It will not ever lose its power for it reaches to the high, highest mountain. Glory to God. And it flows to the low, oh, West Valley, oh, yeah, oh, the blood that gives me strength. Come on, somebody say strength, strength, strength from day to day. Yeah, ever lose, lose its power, for oh, it reaches, I don't care how high you get to the high, highest mountain, yeah. Lowest, lowest valley. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, oh, the blood. Oh, 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 the blood. Somebody say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never yeah, ever lose lose its power for it reaches I said for it reaches I said, for it reaches to the high, highest mountain. And, and it flows to the lowest, 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 to the lowest valley. The blood of Jesus right now cover us. The blood of Jesus right now provide for us. The blood of Jesus right now go before us. Oh, the blood. Somebody begin to cry Jesus. Come on, church, begin to cry Jesus. We need to know Jesus. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus in our schools, oh God. Oh, the blood of Jesus in our economic systems. Oh, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You gave us a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall profess and proclaim that you are Lord Jesus. We need Jesus, God give us strength right now. God give us strength right now. God give us strength right now. Jesus, oh the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, ever, never 
never lose it will never ever ever lose it will never ever ever lose it will never ever ever lose lose its power i know it was the blood I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for, for me. His blood came streaming down. Somebody thank him for the blood. His blood came streaming down. His blood came streaming down for me. Oh, what day when I was lost, Jesus died. He died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood. One more time. I know it was the blood. Come on, anybody know it was the blood? I know it was the blood. Come on, say for me. For me. Oh, what day when I was lost. Jesus died. He died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for, for me father we thank you now we thank you now for your blood we thank you now for this opportunity we have to sup with you the same night in which jesus was betrayed after supper he took the bread and blessed it and break it and said take eat this is my body which was broken for you you may eat like manner he also took the cup and said this is the new testament in my blood drink ye all for the remissions of your sin as you drink it just say i'm healed in jesus name hallelujah i'm healed in jesus name so often as you eat of my body and drink of my blood you do show the lord's death until he comes come on let's give him a praise in the house come on let's give him a praise in the house Come on, let's give him a praise in the house. Come on, let's give him a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me, oh, oh, they whipped him all night long, they whipped him all night long, they whipped him all night long for me, oh, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross, and I know it was the blood for me, I like this one, no, he never said a mumbling word, he never said a mumbling word. He never said a mumbling word for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one more time. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. Oh, one day when Hey, he died. One day when I was lost, he died. One day when I was lost, he died. He died on the cross. He, he died on the cross. He died on the cross. Died for my sins. Died for your sins. He hurt down, bleeding and died. One day when I was lost. When they, when they, when they, when they, when I was old. He died, he died of one day when I, one day when I was lost. He died on the cross. 
Join us for our sweet hour of intercessory prayer with our pastor, Pastor Marcus Rule McCoy, Jr. That dial-in number, 520-537-5237. Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., Join us for our refuel Bible study with the bishop. Hallelujah. And if you all haven't been tuning in, you are truly, truly missing the treat. Wednesday, please remember to fast and pray. Our corporate fast is from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Sunday, join us for Academy of Excellence at 10.30 a.m. in person or by conference call. That dial-in number, 520-537-5237. Let's grow together. Hallelujah. Our noonday worship experience is at 12 noon. Services are in person. Please join the Florida Ecclesiastical Diocese Prayer Call every first Wednesday of the month at 6.30 a.m. That dial-in number, 520-537-5237. Victory Global Academy. Now, it's not too late to sign your children up from June 5th until August 11th. 2023. And look at our recipients there. Hallelujah. Holy Convocation to take place here in Orlando, July 26th through the 30th at the Rosin Shingle Creek. Hallelujah. Please join the 72nd International Women's Council Conference, October 18th through the 22nd, 2023, in Columbus, Ohio. Our theme, Winning Women, Growing to Get Her. Hallelujah. July 7th, Brother Aaron Yent, Happy birthday. And to all those that may be celebrating this week, happy birthday. Please continue to pray for all on the prayer list. I thank you for your attention to the announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. God bless. Amen. Can we clap our hands for Missionary Messi? Thank you so much for keeping us abreast of our kingdom assignments. Amen. Amen. To those that are watching on live stream, we say thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you on next week. Come on, clap our hands for everyone in the house. Come on, church, clap your hands for everyone in the house. Amen. As a way of announcement.